this that's so beautiful oh my gosh hey girl you done you done too fans come on let's get you guys food and angles and um, decorating this place but for now like, see okay no we're good let's chat a little bit while I change this cutie boy's diaper so it has been almost a whole week since we got here tomorrow no today marks one whole week oh my gosh it's been a whole week since we got here I filmed like a tiny bit of content the day that I got here, like short form content wise, and then I got sick and it put me on my ass and then little boy got sick and that has not been fun. He's actually recovered pretty quick and I'm incredibly grateful for that, but I, I honestly know, like my man Aww. last night was like, you need to be resting and getting better because it's taking you so much longer to get better because obviously you're focused on him, which he's my priority. Like that's just life as a mom, it is what it is. And especially he has to go to work. Like I have the luxury of being able to work from home. And yesterday I got the last YouTube video up and I could just like work in bed all day, you know? And that's like such a perk to this job. Um, and also just being able to be here with you, huh? That's a biggest perk. That's the biggest one, huh? But today, I do honestly feel better. I mean, we slept in until <laughs> 9 o'clock, or not 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, which is outrageous. Let me correct that statement. Not outrageous, amazing. He actually slept the whole way through the night, the first night of his life, last night, and oh man, you needed that, huh? You did, yeah, and you look so happy. I need to actually check your temperature to make sure you're doing well. But otherwise, I mean, you guys kind of saw like the floor in here. Um, yeah, I would love to get some things organized today. I don't have any shampoo here, which is why my hair looks like this, so I need to go and get myself some shampoo. And I don't know what else. We need to like start figuring out dinners and stuff too, cutie, so we can cook more. Yeah, because daddy's just been cooking for us, hasn't he? And that's where I left you guys off. I really thought, I was like, well, I'm going to like bang out these videos like so quick. It's going to be the first week, like getting everything done. And then I got sick. And we even did a good job like washing our hands at rest stops and like using sanitizer after filling up the tank. And it happens. Life happens, huh? little bit of damage at Target. Okay, it's Target circle week. We needed some things for the house and I did end up saving $76. Feeling pretty good about that because like this is in reality like all necessity. Like did we need a blanket? No, but in reality do we have a blanket? No, so we needed a blanket. The two things that I got that weren't actually on sale, everything else was the curtain rod and the curtains but that's because in here we have got this is a sliding door which is nice it leads out into a fenced backyard which is fantastic for the girls it's been like oh, the best there is no blinds or anything like on these they have blinds there's no curtains no nothing and we are allowed to hang curtains and we've been wanting to get curtains so i was like they're not on sale no big deal let's get them anyways and i think the way I'm gonna want them, I'm gonna want them two panels on each side, but I figured let me just buy, it was actually a packet, let me show you guys what I got. Do you guys wanna haul? Of course you wanna haul. I don't think that's level, but I can always level it in the editing and you guys will have no idea. So, we got said curtain rod. 
And then I did not know that they did this, and I wish I would have in the Alabama house because the amount of curtains I've bought. You guys know, like it's insane and all of them come from Target. Well, I was gonna buy two separate packs of this curtain and then as I was walking out, I was like, is that a double pack? And you save, I think it's like $10. I believe, I'll have to double check that, but got a double pack. So I would ideally like to get one more of these for over there, but we'll see if I even like this like coloring with what we've got. We needed a toaster, so this toaster was $14, major win. Oh wait, this is something else that was down on sale, but we needed this. The power actually went out for, it was literally a second yesterday, but I was like, we have no lighters and I only have one candle. So candles were on sale. So I got one candle and I got two lighters so that we can have that on hand in case the power goes out. Plus it's just nice to have candles. I got these for his diaper pail. The blanket. Oh, you know what? Okay, now I'm like really exposing myself. These, I don't believe were on sale, but we absolutely needed them. So I got two packs of hangers. We've got a shower curtain for upstairs. Again, I'm hoping that I'm gonna like this. This house is very much so tan, brown, beige vibes, but I think I can get away with this like cream and black. I have to really evaluate what I'm doing here because I'm so used to like my black and crisp white. That's not how this place is going to work. I'm gonna really try to ride off of the warmer tones here and we'll see how that goes. Diapers and diaper, not diaper wipes, but just baby wipes were on sale. If you get, uh, or if you spend a hundred dollars, you get a $30 gift card. And whenever I see that sale, I always try to stock up because $30 back is a big deal. And I'm going to be spending this money on diapers anyways. I got Fruit Loops for my man and Honey Nut Cheerios for myself. These were 20% off. I got a good bit of these storage bins. Ooh, I think these were 20 or 30% off, I don't remember. And then I did need some purified water for this guy. boy just woke up from his nap and I'm honestly not sure yeah I'm not sure yeah is that how this is gonna go I can carry you maybe oh my gosh you guys I feel like there's so much to do but at the same time there's like not a lot to do I don't know I'm just like having a hard time being focused in one area, like what really needs to be done. I figured, let me just like bring some more clothes up and attempt to organize these clothes. My man put these in here for me and I have no idea what is happening in terms of like organization. Cause my guess is he just like kind of put them in, which was incredibly nice. But also you guys, my clothes basically take up this whole entire closet and that can't work because it's not just me here. He needs room in this closet. And it's funny because I've lived without all of these clothes for four months. So now I'm like, why do I even have all these clothes? Why do I have, I don't need them. But also while I was showering, I realized that I never told you guys what is going on with like our living situation. I just kind of said like, if you knew the whole story, whatever. So basically because there were like a few questions that had been asked someone not someone actually a lot of people asked where I was moving to and I said I'm not exactly sure obviously I knew what base he was going to be stationed at but I not I our original plan was to actually live off of base so we wanted me ideally to scope out some neighborhoods where we wanted to be and then find a rental 
and be there. And then it just came down to it. Honestly, rentals are so freaking expensive in this area. We were going to waste a ton of money. It would have been a good drive for him to work every day to be in a nice area. And we were like, why don't, why don't we just live on base? Like, we'll just use base housing. This is very temporary. And then it's not nearly as expensive for us. And Honestly, this is 100% the way to go. We ended up, like apparently there's a lot of different areas that you can live on base, but the neighborhood we're in, this is nice. Like to me, this is nice. This is good quality. We've got a good bit of space. We were able to get a three bedroom and I'm very happy with it. So that's the deal. We're living on base. I'm not gonna tell you guys where we are stationed. You'll like end up finding out like the state that we're located in, but I'm not gonna share too many details. I need to like familiarize myself with my clothing again so I know what's going on. That's all I'm gonna be able to get done today. I do have a load of wash in the washer and in the dryer, so I'm hoping that I can fold at least what's in the dryer right now so that I can move what's in the washer into the dryer before bed, but we only have a little bit of time before your bedtime, huh? And I also need to figure out dinner. So there's that. <laughs> 